Hey everyone, so welcome to this video and in this video we are going to discuss one more problem on binary tree, right? So the problem statement is, let's say you are given a tree and in that tree you need to find out all the leaf nodes, okay? So let's say this is a tree and we just need to print out all the leaf nodes of this tree. So leaf nodes are the nodes which has no left child. It means that its left child is null and its right child is also null, okay? So these nodes are called leaf nodes. So here in this case, node number 4, node number 8, 15 and 21 are the leaf nodes. So we just need to print out all these nodes. Okay. So this is the problem statement. Now let's see the approach. So here we have four conditions. The first one is here we are checking that whether the node is null or not. Okay. So in that case, we are simply return back to the function. Then second condition is uh, in which we are checking that whether the node is leaf node or not. Okay, so this is for left child and this is for right child. So in that case, if it is a leaf node, then we are simply printing that node. The third condition is after checking that node, we just need to visit out its left child and then its right child. Okay, so this is the pseudocode. Now let's execute this code on this tree. So what I'll do, I'll pass root node in the function which is calculating the leaf nodes. Okay. And then I'll check the first condition that whether the node is null or not. So here in this case, it is not null. Now the second condition, whether this node is a leaf node or not. So it is not a leaf node. Third condition will go back to its left child. Okay. So it will visit its left child. Now for door number six, it is not null and it is not a leaf node. So we'll visit its left hand child. Now for node number four, it is not null, but it is a leaf node. Okay. So we will print this node. So four is printed. Now third condition, it will visit its left child, which is null. So in that case, we will simply return back to the function from where it is called okay so we'll return back to 4 now the fourth condition is we just need to visit its right child so its right child is also null so we'll simply return back to 4 now all the four conditions all the four conditions for this node is completed so we will return back to its parent node okay now for node number 6 left hand child left hand side is completed okay the fourth step is we just need to visit its right hand child so we are at node number 8 again left hand side sorry so at node number 8 we'll check that whether this node is null or not so in this case it is not null and after that we'll check whether this node is a leaf node or not okay so here in this case it is a leaf node so we will print that node now third step is to visit its left hand child which is null so we'll return back and the fourth step is to visit its right hand child so again it is null and we'll return back to node number 8 and all the four steps for node 8 is completed so we'll return back to its parent node okay and for node number 6 also all these steps are completed so we'll return back to node number 10 right now for node number 10, step 3 is completed, okay. This step is completed. Now step number 4, we just need to visit its right child, which is 18. And then for node number 18, we'll check that whether this node is null or not and whether this node is a leaf node or not, okay. So both the conditions are false. So we'll visit its left hand child. And for node number 15, it is a leaf node. So we'll print that node and visit its left hand child it is null we'll return back and visit its right hand child so it is again null simply return to 15 and all the four conditions are executed so we'll return back to node number 18 right now we'll visit its right hand child and for node number 21 we'll check that whether uh, this node is null or not and this node is a leaf node or not so here in this case it is a leaf node okay so we will print that node and move to its 
left side which is null so we'll return back to 21 and then visit its right hand child so it is again null so just return back to 21 now all the four steps for node number 21 is completed so we'll return back to node number 18 and for 18 also all the steps are completed so we'll return back to node number 21 okay and for node number 10 also all these steps are completed so it will simply return back to the main function and this is the output 4 8 15 21 okay so this is how we can check that whether the nodes are leaf node or not okay now let's see the code so this is uh, the same binary tree okay now i'll create a function here void print leaf nodes okay and here i'll pass the root node so the first condition is we need to check whether the root node is null or not okay so in that case we'll simply return second one if root of left is null and root of right is also null so in that case we just need to print out that node okay now third condition is to visit its left hand child And the fourth one is to visit its right hand child. Okay, so that is completed. We just need to call this function here. So this is output 4, 8, 15 and 21, okay, 4, 8, 15 and 21. So this is how you can print out the leaf nodes of a binary tree, okay. So that's it for this video. Thank you.